All right, so the Nano QX, not been seeing a lot of flight time these days, but this new upgrade here hopefully will change things. There we have the RHK, or sorry, RKH upgrade. So it's a CNC cut, carbon fiber chassis with some aluminum arms. So hopefully it will lighten and stiffen things up as well as allow me a little bit more room for a bigger battery. Give me some nice flight times. So this looks very thin, very fragile, but once you get the arms in play and everything is all tightened up, it's going to be very nice. So we got some double-sided sticky stuff. And here are the arms that I keep referring to. So everything that you see in the kit is what you need for the upgrade. There's nothing else. Everything else that's needed is in the original Nano QX kit. So this will work for the QX as well as the QX FPV. <clears throat> All right, so let me get you a good look at the arms. And I'm going to start with the teardown now. And you get the body off, get underneath, disconnect all our wiring, remove the wiring itself from the channel. So you might have to fidget with the arm itself to get everything to pop out. But other than a little bit of play, there's nothing holding these back. So it shouldn't be too tough to do. Wiggle, wiggle, we're out. And at the front, we have the uh, camera mount that has two screws to come off. Once that's done, then everything's free. <clears throat> so camera, two-sided tape, move that out of the way. Get this out of the way. And finally, we get the board out and the motors. So here, just push through the tab and pull the leads through. The motors will come out. There we go, and one left. Perfect. So now for the build. I'm gonna push the lead through the motor, push the motor through the pod, loosen that side screw if need be. Push it all the way down to the bottom, make sure not to pinch your leads. A little bit of torque on that and you're locked into place. So now you have four screws at the other end, which will mount to the chassis. You're going to get those out. And again, with this, might have a bit of vibration, so I'll be using a little bit of thin th thread lock, the blue stuff. Not much, just a bit. And here, I'm going to rifle the lead through the arm, so that way we don't have too much uh, dangling exposed cabling. So two screws on the chassis, you get that top laid out. And here, for the flight controller board... Everything lines up with the holes underneath, and the two-sided tape keeps it in place. And now, I'm going to push the lead of the motor through the chassis. And I'm going to start fastening one of these screws. See how far I can get on camera. This stuff is small and hard to do because I'm looking through the camera lens. That's how close I am to it. All right, let's just get one side in. All right. <laughs> Perfect. All right, one side in. Then we're going to push the lead through. All right, you get the idea. I'll try to get that last screw in there, but we'll probably just end up finishing this up off camera. Nope. We're almost... I think I got it. No. All right, we'll be back. All right, so... That's all done. Motor leads are fished through, plugged in. Now for the camera, plug that into the lead. Two-sided sticky tape up front. And that's gonna hold our camera in place. Uh, we'll add that later. For now, I'm just gonna route the wiring, put the top plate back on. And here, we're gonna try to line it up with the two center screws. 
and then we'll finish the rest of that up off camera. Those tiny screws are hard to get at. And no need to show you that. All right, so we're back with finished product. And there we are. So that's the Nano QX with the RKH aluminum, or sorry, aluminum armed and carbon fiber chassis upgrade. So hopefully we'll see this in action soon. We'll be stuffing a 300 ma uh, single cell lipo in there. So that uh, should fit right in between the landing gear as well as give us a significant flight time compared to the 150 ma that we have now. So with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe.